there. Welcome to Made Fit TV. This is episode number 69. Made Fit TV is everyone's source for health and fitness information and entertainment. And it's where fit bodies don't just happen, they're made. And they're made today in Chicago. We are on the outskirts of Chicago visiting Tony and Bonnie, some friends of ours. And we're staying in this lovely hotel. So I figured that I would want to get a workout in this morning. And I thought maybe some of you guys want to know how to use the stuff that's in your hotel room to get you a good workout too. Because there are no excuses. Alright, let's get started. So we're in the room, we're looking at a couple things that I'm sure that you have in your hotel rooms wherever you're staying. You got the ice bucket, we got some ice here, I'll tell you what that's for in a minute, and we also have the towel. Now the goal here is to have a convenient and accessible workout inside your hotel room so you don't have to go anywhere. I understand a lot of hotels do have fitness centers and that's great and I highly encourage you to go to them, but if yours does not, or if they charge a rather high rate, this is another great alternative that you can do because it's right inside your hotel room and you don't have to go anywhere, you don't have to worry about how you look, you don't have to pay any dues. We're just doing it right in here. Okay, all the moves I'm going to show you today, you're going to do five sets of. So we're going to do it kind of in a circuit. So I'm going to show you each, every single movement. All right, first thing we're going to use is we're going to do some kettlebell swings with a bag of ice. So what I did, I went downstairs, I filled up my bag of ice, and I found a garbage bag because um, you can find these at the bottom of the garbage right underneath the bag. I'm going to stick this in here just so it doesn't leak. You can even fill the garbage bag with more ice if you want to to make it nice and heavy. So I'm going to choke up on the bag, so I'm holding it, wrapping it around my hand. So it's still going to get a little bit of a swing, but you want to keep it closer to your hand. So we're going to do some kettlebell swings, single arm. You're going to stand with your feet wider than hip width apart. You're going to keep your chest down. When you come down and swing it, swing it up. And you want to control the ice, just like you would control a kettlebell. Now I understand the ice won't be as heavy as a kettlebell, but it's the same concept. You're getting a great workout in the glutes and the legs, and you're also getting a really good workout in your core because you're controlling the ice that's coming down, so you're not swinging it back. And plus, you know, you don't want the neighbors to think, what the heck is going on in there? Okay, so I'm really feeling this in my back. I say do about 15 repetitions on the right side and 15 on the left, and you'll really feel it in the butt and the legs. And I'll, obviously you're going to repeat that because we're going to go through it in a circuit. All right, that's the first movement. Second movement might be a little advanced, but there is a way to uh, make it a little bit easier. You're going to take a hand towel, preferably the one you're not using, okay? Now, a lot of hotel rooms have this kind of, um, of a handle right here, but you want to make sure you just want to lock the door, okay? What you're going to do is you're going to wrap the towel around a handle like this. And it doesn't have to be for the entrance. It could be to the bathroom or, you know, your suite closet if you have that great of a room. But if you did, you'd be working out in the fitness center. All right. So you're going to grab it and put it around here. Uh, you might want to give me some side, I think. Okay. Your feet are going to be in front of you. So you want to bring them in. And this is when you've got to trust the door because you're going to be leaning back, bend the legs. So I'm like in a seated position here, you see that? And I want you to bring your feet a little bit closer to the door so you're leaning back, and I want you to pull. This is a back row, guys. Check it out. You want to exhale, keep the chest up, keep the back straight, keep those heels on the floor like you're pivoting on them. They're just kind of there. So I'm feeling this in my back, I'm also feeling it in my biceps, and I'm also feeling the quads because I'm holding this. Now if you want to make it a little bit harder, Go ahead and straighten out the legs, lean back even more. Might make you nervous at first. Isn't that awesome? So that's a great exercise to do for your back. You can do, is um, this is more of a body weight movement, so you may have to feel it out, but I would do about at least 10, see how you feel. If not, do more. Okay, the next move we're gonna do, set that outside. I'm gonna use this chair. Everyone kind of has a chair in the room, I'm sure. Unfortunately for me, this one is a swivel chair, so um, it's actually a little bit more of a challenge, which is good. You want that challenge. It's going to challenge my core. I'm going to show you guys how to work your core doing a side plank raise off of elevations. So I'm going to put this right over here next to the door. And just like a plank, Chris has got to get up on the bed. This room is so small. All right, you want to put your forearm on the bed. You want to bring your feet up on the chair, one on top of the other. You want to be nice and straight, hand on your hip. You're going to dip your hip down below the bed and back up. Ooh. Down 
and back up. Because I have a swivel chair, I have to make sure that I'm keeping it stable, otherwise it's going to twist up to different ways. This is really killer. I totally feel this. I can feel it in the shoulders, and I can feel it in my obliques, because you want to, almost like you're pulling up, you just want to pull your hip up. So I want you to do about uh, 10 on the right side, 10 on the left, if you feel like you can do more, go for it. But that's a really challenging movement, and I think it's really awesome that you guys will feel it. Next move we're going to do is uneven push-ups with the ice bucket. Follow me. We're going to come on over here. There's a little bit more room. Step out of the way. Okay, you guys. Take the lid off. Flip it upside down. Um, if you're going to use this, though, later, I'd wash it because that's kind of gross. Um, Lord knows what is on the floor of the hotel room. Never seen those uh, little 2020 we'll put a towel down. <laughs> oh, yeah, or put a towel down. That's a good idea. Chris always has good ideas. Okay, so you're just going to bring it on upside down. One hand on the ice bucket. This way. And one hand on the ground. Push up. <sighs> Pretty cool, huh? You do 10 on one side. And go ahead and switch to 10 on the other. Making sure that your back is straight and you're keeping your abs tight. And if that's a little too advanced for you, go down to kneeling. Same thing, you want to make sure that your legs are almost coming down like a straight line from your shoulders. You don't want to stick the butt up. So that is an awesome way to use Something like this. Elevations. Elevations are a huge deal when it comes to challenging the body with different movements. All right, the last movement I'm going to show you is probably something that you've seen before, a little bit familiar, but it gives you an idea of how you can use the stuff that's in your hotel room. This is going to be the split squat. So what you're going to do is just use a bed or you can use a chair. If it's not swivel, I'm not touching that thing for this one. I might fall and kill myself. So what you're going to do so you're going to put one foot on the bed and then one foot straight in front of you, a little bit slightly in front because you don't, because we're doing a split squat, so you don't want the knee over it's on the ankle. Hand on the hips, come straight down and stand. See, I'm putting all the weight through my heels. I'm just using the bed for support. You know how we're in the gym, we use the stepper? We'll just use the bed. And if the bed is too high, you can go ahead and use a chair. You could do about 10 to 12 reps or even 10 to 15 reps on the right and the left and repeat, of course. So, I hope I gave you guys some different ideas of how to use the stuff that's inside your own hotel room. I thought maybe I should bring some resistance bands, resistance bands, but I said, no, why? I want to see what I can use with absolutely nothing that I'm preparing, coming in, and actually doing a good workout. I'm actually kind of working up sweat. It's getting a little hot in here. So, but thank you so much for joining me for episode 69 of Made Fit TV right here in beautiful Chicago. Um, if you'd like to email me, you can contact me at Jenny at Made Fit TV. But go to MadeFitTV.com and you can actually talk to me. You can um, email me through the Ask Jenny button that's right at the top. And also be sure to subscribe to our podcast because we always have them um, and we do the Ustreams as well and when you subscribe they come right to you. You get them first thing as they upload or on iTunes, YouTube. Thank you so much. A lot of YouTube feedback. I really appreciate it, guys. Keep coming. So I just want to thank you. Follow me on t Twitter. I am at Jane DiDonato and I'm Jennifer DiDonato on Facebook. So I really appreciate you guys joining me. I hope when you uh, have your travels you still stay fit and motivated and focused. Have a great trip and have a good afternoon. On the next episode of Made Fit TV. <laughs> he is the next episode. This is the next episode of Made Fit TV. <laughs> right here, Jenny's gonna show me how to squat. And lunge, squat. <laughs> what am I doing right now? What are these? Uh, button thrusts. <laughs>